All right, folks, welcome back for this week's update. Um, the Both the elevators are out on the tables, as you can see here, but you'll see there's more Clecos in them. I said last week that they were done. Yes, they're done, for the most part. Uh, trim tabs, we're working on the trim tabs. Um, what you see here, this is the hinge that hinges, uh, that attaches to the trim tab. So it comes as a big, long six-foot section. You take out a little chunk, about yay big, and then you drill all these holes in it and um, get it ready for attaching. So that's where these are at. And fear not, that's not all I've done this week. As we see over here, um, this is the actual trim tabs. There's foam ribs under each one of these that are currently gluing. They're using that uh, tank sealant and they are um, being squished and compressed into there and held into place and they have to sit for four days which i'm about to go to work for four days so that works out quite convenient so they can sit for the next four days and glue themselves up nice and straight um, after that then this end that you see here that has the clecos on it uh, will attach to the hinge um, around here on the other side this side's already riveted on um, you can see there those rivets are already done so, and thank goodness I bought that longer on uh, yoke because that was what was needed. So after that, it was on to section 10. Section 10 is called the tail cone. You guys will hear me refer to this as the back of the fuselage. It is, or the tail cone, or the fuselage, or whatever. It's basically from the back windows back. So, um, when you guys, uh, the, the cabin top that I got a couple of months ago, so what you're going to be seeing is from here back to the tail. So the elevators and uh, eventually the, the elevators will mount up on top of, or the, excuse me, the horizontal stab sits on top of this, what's called the aft deck. That's what these two bars are for, is actually to attach it um, to that big uh, uh, spar that you saw on the aft end of the horizontal stabilizer and then obviously the vertical stabilizer on and on so the first couple of pages of this you're simply building this um, bulkhead and this bulkhead and then this bulkhead and then from there these come as multiple parts that you have to put together and drill together and so on and so forth but so today i got to work on this um, so this is that very aft bulkhead. The piece that you see here comes as a longer piece, about another two inches longer. You cut it off, cut the angles into it, and then you have to do what I was kind of fretting, but turned out to be not that big of a deal. Um, you have to tap the hole down here. And what it's for is, is to tie an eye or to screw an eye bolt into so you can tie the airplane down if you ever need to tie it down. So if I'm camping with it or if I'm at Oshkosh, hint, hint, um, then that's where you actually uh, use the, the anchor bolts to tie it down with or the, the rope to tie it down with. You screw an eye bolt into there. So I was kind of fretting over that because I've never tapped anything before in my life, but it turned out to be a whole lot easier than I thought it was. Um, the tool that I used to do that with was, this is a, a tap wrench, and then the, pardon the camera here for a second, this is a, a tapping bit, and it's got these flutes to allow the metal shavings to come up. You take it in and out a couple of different times as you're doing it, and it worked perfect. So, um, I don't have a 3 8 bolts to test it with around the house, but I can look in there, and you can look in there, and the, the threads look pretty good. Um, after that, it's the second uh, uh, bulkhead that you see there. Um, this is the one that the those little horns or rabbit ears is what they look like, is what the horizontal stab will eventually attach to. So, um, and then the next one I haven't even got started on yet, but I got it down, and just so you guys can start seeing reference and size, um, these are all still little. Actually, this goes this direction. So, um, and then from here they get much larger. So that final one that you see there, F1006A um, and C and D and B, um, it's about, I'm guessing about four feet across, five, four and a half feet across, something like that. So that's a pretty good size. So 
And today, um, I had the first time, I knew this was eventually going to happen, where I was not going to be able to find something. So I needed to find, this is called J channel because it's kind of shaped like the letter J, sort of. And I needed to find the six foot J channel. Well, I found the eight foot J channel without a problem, as you can see there. And I'm going to be needing that on the sides of the fuselage, uh, the tail cone here momentarily, probably next week. And these are the main stiffener channels that you put at the very top uh, of the sides of the tail cone or fuselage there. Um, and then you have the six foot. Well, I found the eight foot without a problem, but I searched and searched. But so I knew it was eventually going to happen. And today was the day that it finally happened that I couldn't find my J channel, but I eventually did find it. It was inside of, um, what I'll just refer to as pipe. It is actually eventually going to be the push rods for the elevators, but, um, it looks like just fencing pipe for me right now, but I found them and was able to cut off that little six inch piece. And that was necessary. That's where this piece right here came from that you see. Um, and it's just to add stiffness to this particular rib. Otherwise it's kind of flipping and flopping all over the place. But anyway, uh, till next week, I, uh, this will probably be the work for the week, uh, or until at least, uh, Thanksgiving day, because I take my check right on the Airbus this week. So I'll be busy studying. Till next week, have a good week.